in the current meta competitive players are seeing lots of double perfect wars so they have to win on the fastest time and one of the ways they're doing that is using electro dragons let's take a look at a couple of hits philip is in with the next attack he's coming in with some electro dragons okay let's take a peek at his hero equipment we got the uh, regular king set up that level 27 gauntlet healer puppets all maxed out we got the uh, healing tome and a regular rc's ability all right here we go a little bit of funneling on that right side a dragons down the middle queen in from six o'clock Opts an early warden's ability double rage typical e dragon approach right, defensive rage on the top side of the base going to be raging up that multi archer tower a couple of e dragons into the core a couple of them drifting down to the bottom to help get through the monolith Thing still slowly moving through the base. Got two E Dragons still in the core. Hopefully they can get that clan castle down. I believe the uh, ice golems or whatever was still in there didn't get a chance to come out, and now they won't because the clan castle is out of the way. Works out perfectly. We got a super dragon out of the stone slammer on the top side of the base. Skelly spell on the top as well. Trying to do some distracting here onto that expo. Which right now is locked on to the super dragon anyway. Down goes the eagle that RC coming in, and this is looking super strong. This is looking crushed. He still has so many Electro Dragons left alive. The Super Dragon left alive. Pops the RC's ability. Absolutely didn't even need to. And that is a nice triple from Philip, and that was fast, too. Yeah, rocket Balloons to kick it off. He's coming in with the Electro Dragons. It's going to be a quick attack. So let's quickly look at the hero equipment. We do have the Healer Puppet with the Queen. Healing Tome with the Warden. No new equipment with the RC. Here we go. E dragons are in bottom right side of the base. We got the baby dragon on the right side. We got the heroes on the left. So the king will help take care of the enemy royal champion. Early rage for the E dragons on the bottom side. Queen gets through the air defense. All right, freeze on the town hall. It's going to freeze the town hall and the rage tower. Lots of red air bombs popping up. A couple of E dragons off to the top right side, trying to get some buildings down. They drop a freeze on the monolith here. Poison for a bunch of archers out of the CC. Probably a couple of ice golems in there. Let's see if the E dragons can get that taken down before it gets pulled. Breeze on the bottom side kind of missed that multi archer tower, but they do finally get through it. They get quite a few shots in, unfortunately, but should be fine here. E dragons pushing into the core. Going to be able to chain through, get some damage on the monolith, take it out here. One more shot. There we go. We have a single inferno on the left side. The RC's moving in. Should be able to get through there. We do have that fox making her invisible as well. And it's looking good. I'd say this is probably crushed. Pops that queen's ability. The healers actually move up to the RC. So the healer puppet turns into an RC charge for the top side of the base. And this is crushed. He's going to have a little under a minute and a half left on the clock here. And nicely done to Kronos. And Tribe Gaming kicking it off with a triple. Also going to be an Electro Dragon attack. Is this going to be an Electro Dragon War? Let's take a look at the hero equipment. Oh, we got a second. Healer Puppet Queen. Seems to be pretty common these days, actually. Nothing new on the Royal Champion this time. We'll pop that Warden's ability early for the Electro Dragons. We have the Stone Slammer in. Next, now that's a defensive rage in the core of the base. He does have three more rages to use with his Electro Dragons. All right. Gonna lose that bottom one. King's in on the bottom side of the base, trying to push the queen in. She pops her ability, gets her healer puppet. Or gets her healers, I should say. She'll work her way through the monolith. We do have a freeze on the town hall at the moment. He's gonna drop a rage, drop another freeze. Keep it frozen up. Thunder chickens are able to get through the town hall. We got a few of them left on the top side of the base as well, getting through the ricochet cannon. Get through the Tesla farm on the outside, maybe. There's a dragon rider over there out of the stone slammer, the royal champion from the top side of the base. Once again, this is crushed, so it's just going to be a matter of how quickly can he get these last buildings down. We still have that RC with her ability. She'll probably pop it here shortly. Get through the scatter shot. Let's go RC a little bit faster. He's got it with a minute and 37 seconds on the clock. And there we have it, some super quick Electro Dragon attacks. If you guys want to see some of the new stuff from the recent update in action, I recommend checking out this video right here.